Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Now this is going to be a quick video showing you these Tesla coils. What they do, how good they are, and if they're worth it. So let's get into it. First off the Tesla coil, you're going to be needing to be level 103. Now level 103 is a pretty high level, but you can make these in the fabricator, which is nice. Uh, you need 200 crystal, 500 metal, 100 electronics, and 300 poly. Poly is not too bad to get. You can uh, kill penguins for it. Crystal, you can get the crystal easy. Electronics, 100. But the metal is a bit costly because you're going to need at least three on your death wall. And here's why. So, the tester coil has three modes. It has the electric burn mode, the stun mode, and the 2.5 chain mode. Now they aren't called like this, they're called charged, bright, and volatile. Now charged is the electric burn, so it does percentage damage to tames and people. The stun is a lovely, lovely weapon. It's called bright, it basically stuns the target for two seconds and then the 2.5 chain this does a tiny bit of damage it's called volatile and basically it adds to the damage of all your turrets so if all your turrets are attacking this one creature and this volatile attacks it your turrets will do a lot more damage up to about 2.5 times damage so technically if you have 100 turrets shooting at one tame it will then become 250 turrets of damage okay which is insane all right there's another thing with this volatile one here is that if they've got multiple stegos out and turrets are shooting multiple stegos it actually chains and uh, chains on all the dinos so it does 2.5x on all the dinos which makes it very OP and literally the turrets shoot all of them all right so i know a few of you were asked what the 2.5x actually is and i'm going to show you right now so you see this is an auto turret doing 13 damage i turn on the tesla coil with the 2.5 damage now it's doing 17 and the more hits it does the more it scales up to 2.5 damage so as you can see here it's worth putting it on all targets basically or players and teams and there you go it's at a flat 2.5 damage and doing 32 damage a tick from that auto turret. So you can imagine how much damage it will do if you've got a heavy turret or text pointing at it. It will absolutely shred the turtle. Now, the questions you ask is can you use them in caves? Anything with 6 times damage, it doesn't actually allow you to place them. Please correct me if I'm wrong. So you can't place these in caves, but you can place them on land, in rat holes, and other stuff like that. Now these are OP, and it actually encourages players to actually build out in the open now, because these cover a lot of aspects that normal turrets and building out in the open doesn't. So you're going to want on your death wall or outside turrets or turret towers, you're going to want at least three. And you're going to want one on stun, one on one on burn and one on the 2.5 times chain one now the settings you'll want for the burn one is you want it on only survivors now it does do like a tick of 100 uh, 100 damage a second for like over five seconds right on a creature but if you do it on a player it does percentage based damage like burning them with a flamethrower so if you keep one of these at least on players only the whole time, when they come and attack you and they're on a tame, it will hit the player, which will damage the player and stop them from doing a lot of things. So if they come on a trike, it will go and it will hit the player instead of the trike, which will make the player die and then the tame be unridden and then probably die by all your turrets. It also helps hit off uh, runners and stuff like that, does extra damage. So the this one the stun one you'll want it on only survivors and mounted creatures now not just creatures mounted creatures because if it hits a survivor that's running in with a rocket launcher or running on a terror bird or running on a pyro main or something like that with a rocket launcher 
it will shoot the player which will stun the player player for two seconds or the mounted creature that it's on for two seconds which will allow the whole death ball to shred and kill the player and stop them from doing their rocket runs that makes it extremely OP so I'll show you right now so usually it's on only survivors and tamed creatures if you put it on only survivors and mounted creatures that makes this stun extremely powerful okay and just to show you again that is the bright option okay and this one the uh, 2.5 chain I would keep this on like everything only survivors and tamed creatures keep it on the normal setting because if it shoots carbos and stuff it still does 2.5 damage with all the other turrets that are shooting it so it's definitely worth keeping these on survivors and tamed creatures okay so those are the optimal settings in my opinion if you have any other uh, questions or you think they should be on a different setting feel free to put them in the comments down below if you like my content please like comment and subscribe i also have a gamma 5 unofficial server the discord link is in the link in the description feel free to join that all right guys thank you so much peace out